And who's your little pal that you've got there? He's gorgeous. That's Jim. Oh, that's that's TV's Jim. Jim. Uh, <laughs> he just comes everywhere with me. He was in Arthur and George. He's quite tired because he had two sausages this morning. <laughs> But you have a real, you have a real affinity with animals. I know you've got the, you know, you've got where you live is absolutely beautiful, and you've got all those gorgeous horses and everything. So, doing this new series mm. must have been an absolute joy. Uh, yeah, it was, and really fascinating too. And I think people will enjoy it because we, do you remember we all used to watch uh, One Man and His Dog? Yeah. You know, people are always impressed when people um, coerce animals to do clever things or use them in different ways. And um, I, I just, I'm, I'm constantly fascinated by the different things animal, different animals mean to different people around the world. And we sort of one great example of the show is we we meet our beef cattle um, that we slaughter and sell to the butchers, Framptons of Bridport, and then we um, we go over to Nepal and see the holy cattle um, that get um, get baked fresh chapatis every morning, <laughs> um, and which is fascinating because it's the same humans and the same cattle, exactly, but such but a difference. In a different way. And of course, as you said, you filmed in Nepal. Of course, they've had those horrendous earthquakes. Where you did you find out what had happened to the, the people that you spoke to? Are they okay? Well, I just. Just this morning, I, I was emailing them after the first one, and it took a few days, but they got back, and they were all OK. Um, yes. And I just, uh, just this morning had an email back after the second one, because I e emailed them the night before last um, to see what was, um, what was, you know, that they're OK, and they are. All the people we filmed with are OK, but, you know... Um, if anybody after watching the programme wants to help out over there, over there, they can email me on martin at buffalopictures.co.uk and um, we'll sort something out together because we're sending money straight out to them. Um, and I know people like to help if they can, but it's a rotten situation. And now they're saying there's going to be more earthquakes and they've got the monsoons in a month. I know, it's horrendous. So God knows what that's going to bring. So, I'm, it's, uh, I'm sure yeah, we hope that doesn't drop off anyone's radar. Absolutely. I don't think it will. That's the, that's the trouble, isn't it? Sometimes the attention can move, but it mustn't in this case. And I'm sure lots of people will be emailing you and, and helping them. And it's such good news that, that they're all right. Yeah, good, And great. the whole Please thing, do, yeah. yeah, the whole thing about man and beast is we see so many different aspects mm. of of that interaction.